So guys, something I've never talked about on the channel before, and something that you probably don't know about me unless you're one of my friends or a family member, is that I am a veteran. I was in the military from 2012 to 2015. This is a picture of me in 2012 right out of airborne school. I was in 1st 319th Airborne Field Artillery Regiment and 3rd Brigade Combat Team, 82nd Airborne Division. So what this has to do with uh, what we got going on, on the channel here is a lot of the gear that I use is military issue, but it's not just regular military issue stuff. This stuff is for special operations. I've got a good friend of mine, Travis. He is a special operations veteran. That's the guy I get a lot of this gear from. And what's cool about some of this stuff is some of it you can only get your hands on if it's issued to you or you find a special operations veteran that's trying to sell it. So I thought this stuff was cool, so I made a video of him going through some of his high-speed operator gear. Hey guys, I'm Travis. Um, I'm a former special operations combat controller from the U.S. Air Force. A little bit about my background and the job description. Uh, mainly, I was an air traffic controller that provided air traffic control and flight to safety behind um, enemy lines and austere environments and also provided joint terminal attack control which um, is releasing ordnance, dropping bombs basically on bad guys. Um, yeah, it's a pretty fun job in order to be in that job you have to be uh, highly qualified, go through a bunch of schools such as combat dive, military free fall, airborne, survival school, and a plethora of many others. In special operations, a lot of people think of all the cool guy gear you see us wearing, um, carrying your, your primary weapon system, body armor, helmet, um, all ballistic. Um, but what a lot of people don't think of is some of the other gear we're issued that are made by some more of the mainstream companies that you guys hear of more often. Um, yeah, a lot of people do not understand that they are they have these special programs that are making gear designed especially for special operations that are not available to the public, so I'm going to show you some. Alright, so here's some basic basic stuff that most operators are issued. Um, our terrorist has their leave program, law enforcement, armed forces. Uh, these are this is a full set of Gore-Tex and all the drab. It came in super handy. I use it all the time and it's it's definitely um, top-notch, very high quality. Patagonia makes uh, a lot of a lot of systems for us as far as um, cold weather gear. These are some of their puffy pants that have just worked amazing for me as well. Um, some low profile Arcteryx stuff, civilian clothes when you're doing those low pro operations. Arcteryx base layers, and then Arcteryx leaf also makes some of the multicam just combat type apparel, um, kind of like cry stuff like this. Some of the other programs, Outdoor Research has a military program, uh, Mystery Ranch, Kelty, and then you have some other, other brands that we just use in our issue that don't have specific programs such as North Face, Eno, um, Osprey, Deuter, and um, a bunch of others. Some of my big stuff here, some of the storage containers that I was issued and that I also continue to store my stuff in. Right here at North Face, uh, we were issued a bunch of their stuff. This is a five bag system. So two rolling bags and three duffels of different sizes. They all fit in this large roller bag. Um, my other larger military bags, I store my sleep systems that I was issued in there, uh, such as hammock, sleeping pads, sleeping bags, woobies, ponchos, stuff like that. In these two boxes, I store my dive gear. Um, so wetsuits, dry suit, fins, all that type of stuff. I have a clothing bag, most of that's warmies and uh, combat layers. Um, and then over here I have my packs. So Alice pack, that's a Blue Force Gear Assault pack. And then um, I have a couple other civilian style like Osprey and Deuter packs as well. Alright, so here's uh, some of my North Face luggage system that was issued. We use these a lot uh, traveling around Europe doing training operations and such not to draw attention to ourselves with a bunch of military style bags and gear. Um, so these worked really great. They're pretty much waterproof, absolutely water resistant and um, you just look like a, like a normal traveler carrying these around and can pack a ton of military gear into them. Uh, they work fantastic for us. Here's a couple other packs, um, military style packs that I used in combat operations. This is your normal Alice pack. This is a three-day pack bag on the, on the Alice frame. This isn't the standard issue Alice frame. This is a beefed up aluminum frame that's high strength. 
Uh, we use these in special operations because when you're doing a lot of jump operations, the, the normal owl trams tend to bend and break. So this is heavy duty and just as lightweight, and we had a lot of luck with these. This is a little assault pack made by Blue Force Gear, and they make great equipment. Um, I did some modification to this one. That was in Afghanistan. I had some guys make up uh, this Kydex panel here with Molly so I can strap in water bladder, radio batteries, radios, um, just so it's not moving around and stuff like that. All right, so a couple things we have here. Uh, this here, the Osprey Zenith 105 pack. Uh, pretty common pack, and uh, it's mostly used for low profile operations, uh, doing assault zones and stuff like that, and uh, made to want to look more like a civilian backpacker, not to draw so much attention to yourself. A um, couple sleep systems, North Face Dark Star, this is really nice, um, very cold weather bag, operating in cold weather environments. Snug Pack makes some great bags. This is a 40 degree bag for lighter environments. Uh, came with a bivy as well, which is super handy. Thermarest sleep pads. Um, I've had a lot of luck with the Thermarest. This one has lasted me through a deployment and a bunch of other operations. And then uh, Eno as well. Um, we're issued Eno hammocks. Um, a, lot of, a lot of plane travel in the back of cargo aircraft in the military. These are nice to just sling up to catch a quick nap. And then also jet boil. Um, we're issued jet boils to make us some food um, when we're in a tight spot or some coffee just to keep us going. Alright guys, thanks for checking out all my gear. Um, this just scratches the surface of stuff I was issued. This is just the stuff that I was legally able to keep. Um, yeah, check out Middle of Wherever's um, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube page for backpacking, hiking, travel and just some cool shit. Thanks guys.